everyone it is Easter Sunday I pray that everyone is safe and enjoying their day the best they can in light of the circumstances and of course since some of us are not able to be with friends and family as we would like to I do hope that there is still communication between us one way or the other so with that said I'm going to just uh, share with you like I promised in my last video um, some cards that I made from um, using a paper pad that I had and wondering what to do with some of the the um, bold pieces that were in there so I was able to just you know turn them into cards uh, you know and just add something to um, each card so also in the last video I was uh, talking about the ranger pearl or liquid pearls and I was awaiting the other sets so I just wanted to show you guys so we have the white the yellow that looks like more of a baby blue then I this is the last one of the last sets I got this is a darker blue this is a green I'm sure they have names to them but I'm just uh, saying this is like um it's not pink but like maybe a rose reddish looking color then this is a shade of orange I want to say um, this is the silver the gold this is another shade of yellow but if you notice the yellows are different this one is lighter this one is darker and then I have these two here this is more like a pink and this one is I guess an orangey color so that's the entire set that I have that I know of and this is what I will be using in place of any um, gems because I kind of like how they work out for the cards so this is my new love okay so let's go ahead and continue so I had this gigantic paper pad that was just you know just different shades of gold and black patterns and inside there was you know this sheet about a couple of sheets that had those you know things like those on here and I was wondering what I should do with it but I thought let me just experiment a little bit so these are like um, like a, a note cards like just just a note basically that's what it, it's supposed to be just a note so if you notice the front all I did was I cut all I cut out the uh, piece here and then I attached it to some uh, foam fun foam and then I stuck it to the top so then this is a get fold card so once you close it off then it's just a nice little you know touch to the card I, I lined um, my first layer with gold and of course the card is brown so it does actually look you know quite elegant I may say it almost looks like um, like a clipboard so here on top here might just have like just a note or something put at the top so that's one I did have another one same just a note looking clipboard but instead I use white and black with the um, gold so you see the inside the way I set it up I have white on one end black and then you just fold it shut on the back side then you can see it's two shade which is white and black just to you know give it a different look from this one so in as much as the fronts are the same the colors are different okay then I have a circular one, well oblong really, and it had this flower here, I think, oh this is how it goes, yes. So again, I did a similar thing, of course back it with white fun foam. I did do brown and white, so again at the back has two colors, but it's basically going to have the wooding in the middle. And then of course you can just close it out so whether I want to put flowers here or maybe the name of someone or some kind of sentiment that is entirely up to me or you know if someone wants to have that card then I can always personalize it as well I have another one here again we had this um, big E and I was wondering again what I should do so I ended up I have this smaller part pad here this pad um, did come with you know the 
floral inside. Um, it is four and a half by six and a half inches. So I just basically layered a blue or more turquoise um, five and a half by four and a quarter card. Um, no, I think this is the bigger one. This would be, I think it was six, four and a half by six and a quarter, right? And um, I, I choose a red first mat just to kind of, you know, give a nice little offset. And then, of course, the uh, pattern paper to match with the blue. And, of course, I did use Fun Foam and get this Easter right here. Now, there is still the option for a sentiment. But, again, depending on how I choose to add the sentiment, of course, we will see that later. But a sentiment can be added anywhere, maybe on a short, you know, just a little piece of paper or a die cut. You know, it just depends. So this is another option. Then I had this one. And I was wondering, oh, okay then. It's pretty much the size of the card, which is um, four and a quarter by five and a half. So I just basically cut it out. No extra matting, just used it by itself, really. Um, as a matter of fact, I just realized I did mat it, actually. I used a black uh, piece on the bottom, and then I stuck the, sent the uh, little sentiment area in the middle, and just accented it with a couple of, of gems, a few gems. So, um, you know, this is actually what it turned out to be. And I think it's, you know pretty decent you know and um woods and everything here and you could always add the name or however you want it to be but this is like a just a note or something for encouragement then i have the other one here one before the last this was it says it is the little things in life that matters the most i had a couple of those but i just did one and basically what i did was i cut it out um and then I attached it to black fun foam. And again, I cut around it. So then I have that, uh, if you can see that um, little dimension here. Um, and of course, I took a sheet of paper from this pack as well. So that I can have like half of it just with a little contrast, you know, something a little different. And then I use the other side uh, gold. So if I were to pull this off, then I would you'd see like two half layers that I combined just to do one mat on the bottom. And then I went ahead and stuck this at the top. So this is very simple. And if you have paper pads at home, you know, and you're wondering, you know, sometimes they have those, you know, things like that or, or you know, just bold pieces and you're wondering what to do with it. These are just little ideas, you know, very simple, nothing fancy. Um, so this is another one of these ideas. Then I had one that I had a card that I had to revive. Basically, this card only had this on, you know, one side of it, the tri uh, triangle. Um, and I was wondering what to do with it. So basically what I did was I basically incorporated the colors. And of course, you can see I have the gold piece here and I just kind of separated with black just so that it will match. And then I used two die cuts. One, the bigger piece is fun foam and the other one is gold. So this is an option just to, you know, I call this my gold collection. But this is just a, a sample of, you know, reviving a card that you have and wondering, you know, ins instead of throwing it out or messing further if it will you know, taking off anything you already put before, just think of ways you can revive it by adding things to it. So with this one, it could be in the middle here. It could be somebody's name. Um, it could be also a sentiment placed in here. It just depends. And these are just little ideas um, for, you know, just a note, basically. So um, with that said, these are the ideas, uh, again, that I... I wanted to share with you um, today and I hope that you know you enjoy this little simple demonstration and if you enjoy this video a thumbs up would be appreciated and of course uh, subscribe to my youtube channel as I plan every Sunday 
to present you with different ideas. So do enjoy the rest of your Sunday and have a safe and blessed week. And we shall meet again on Sunday. Bye-bye and God bless.